Okay, we just signed Matthew Rose. He is now playing for his father, Jack Rose, and trying to make this team, Kensington, the best team in the world, which so far this season has been amazing. We currently sit in fourth place after 10 games. So we just gotta try and keep this up, but there are some rumors about one of our best players leaving the club soon, potentially leaving. So drop a like if you wanna see more of this series and let's get into it. First comment, I think we should get an update on how Rodriguez is doing. Yeah, for now, Rodriguez is sold to Man City, although we haven't really played him at Man City yet. Like he hasn't been in their lineup when we played them, although he is 92 rated. Although saying that we might play against him in this episode there's a chance next one i love the idea of rose playing for his dad but i think it's a bit too early yeah there were a lot of comments about uh, us signing matthew rose now we're trying to take this team to the next level so i think it's a perfect time for matthew rose to join this team and a lot of you guys had issues with him being 99 rated so the compromise is now he's down to 87 rated so joint highest rated with bino gittens so he's way less overpowered although of course he's still a great midfielder and last one i think you should make matthew rose the captain yeah i mean rose was the captain of west ham england so he definitely has some like captain experience i think frost for now is still the captain he's been the captain since season one but that could change pretty soon now this team has had an amazing start to the season but it has not been perfect we got badly slapped by chelsea 3-0 and in this episode we got man city away we got arsenal away so some very big games for this squad and further testing if we are actually a top six premier league team right now now ronaldo calls us into his office and he says have you heard the rumors so he shows us a tweet from fabrizio romano saying that real madrid are targeting one of our best players but they're not sure who the player is yet now ronaldo says right now we have no idea who it is he does say though it's one of the starters and he says don't worry about it for now focus on these next few games and we'll deal with whatever when it comes so real madrid are trying to sign one of these 11 players and when real madrid come calling i don't think we'll be able to say no to that we just have to wait and see now next game is spurs i think i want to play spurs away when they come around later in the season so we're going to risk this one by simming it and this one is going to be it's going to be a 2-1 loss yudogi kunya rose did score but it's going to be a fat l now we face first place man city the champions the current champions and of course matthew rose's former team okay so for now rodriguez actually starts at right wing for Man City and I feel like this is going to be an extremely tough game now there are a lot of connections here we got Matthew Rose Pep Guardiola for now Rodriguez we have a very strong connection with Man City and our best ever win may be the FA Cup win last year against them so this time Premier League, they're in first place. Let's see what the boys can do. I'm pretty sure all the times we played Man City, for now Rodriguez did not play. So this time he's starting, which he's 90, what, 92 rated? That's a little bit terrifying. They got Foden, Holland, Rodriguez. That is terrifying. No, this is a lot of possession. I'm looking for Holland. I'm looking for him. They drag it back to him, and then Branthwaite gets the clearance away, though. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of defending for us. That is a ball into Erling Holland, drags it back to Cole Palmer, and it's 1 0. We just got cut apart. I mean, Holland attracts so much attention that the ball gets to him, and we just went right at him. All right, a terrible start, but honestly, I'm not too surprised. We literally had like no chance to attack yeah. which first time leo into frost frost tries to get it to leo you know what that was not a bad idea all out to foden again we are struggling to contain the man city attack okay what a pass by foden i couldn't even see where the ball went 15 minutes in we're getting schooled again you know what i thought we recovered here and blocked it but it's just a great cross and like matthew's right there no one's marking rodri i mean i don't think people expect rodri to make that run this has been a terrible start all out frost i need my best players to work well together kamalo just got crunched you tell me that's not a foul leo over to luka nets luka nets cross over to bino Gittins. that is a terrible cross okay this is not good what a ball to holland goes for a diving header leno makes the save though this is disgusting odin to rodriguez for now rodriguez against his former team and leno makes the save leo gets the gets the clearance kamalo good first touch okay a very good first touch now bino Gittins, get it back to kamalo great ball oh man kamalo doesn't have all the pace to win this he's gonna get fouled instead cross it over to sean frost it's a good header attempt but it's cleared by ruben diaz corner just lofted in to Sean Frost, it's cleared off the line. That was going in. That's so unfortunate. That one is going to be caught by Ederson. That could have been 2 1. All right, Rose to Kamalo. Over to Frost. Frost waiting for Bino Gittins. Beautiful run by Bino Gittins, but it's going to be a great save. Man, that was a great move. Rose into Frost. Frost, he's just being hounded by three dudes. Van Dyke rebound. It's going to be cleared. Matthew Rose. Right footed long shot. It's going to go over the net. That's Bon Moto Holland. Van Dyke. Okay, that was very weird, but Van Dyke got it out. If we score one, I feel like we have a chance. We got to score one, though, right now. Because if we don't get ourselves in this game, it's going to be very bad. Okay, Frost. John Frost is in. Goes for the finish, and Sean Frost scores a very big goal in this game. Okay, 2 1. I said we need that, and we got it. All right, 2 1 in the 42nd minute. Signs of life from Kensington. Come on, don't let him score again. Goretzka into Holland. Oh, I saw that pass. It's Rodriguez. I saw it, but I saw it so late. For now, Rodriguez scores and he goes and hugs Pep Guardiola. Man, I saw that run so late. I went to home right there and I allowed Rodriguez that space. Man, 3-1. 2-1 was the game. 3-1. That is a huge blow to us. And that is halftime. Our new defense with Nets uh, Van Dyke, like it's looked really good this year, but against Chelsea and against uh, Man City, we look pretty terrible. 
Oh, that is so unfortunate. That is so incredibly unfortunate. And the bounce goes to Holland and it's 4-1. That one right there was just unlucky. I wasn't even controlling Van Dyke when the ball came to him. So that was like the AI that just couldn't control that pass, I guess. And then the back heel into Holland, like what am I supposed to do with that? It's 4-1. Against the champions, the back-to-back -back champions, the Champions League winners, we are getting demolished. All right, Andrich driving forward into Matthew Rose. That shot is so blocked. Rose over to Bino Gittins. Bino Gittins, if we get one, here's a chance. We got Rose, we're making that run. Oh, Bino Gittins can't feed in rows though. All right, Okezi, Paris, and Ronaldo Jr. are coming on because man, Andrich probably his worst game for us so far, which is a very rare bad game. We're just trying something here to get back in this, but it might be no point. Palmer, ball all the way over, and Lano makes the save. That is dangerous. And then looking at, is that a penalty? No, it's not. Can you imagine if we make this comeback, it would be literally magical. Oh, Luka Nets can't get Foden. I don't even blame you though. That's going to be a, oh, it's going to be a penalty by Branthwaite. This game has just been horrible. Erling Holland versus Burton Lano. Gonna go right. This game is 5-1. If we don't score in the next attack, this game's done. Crossed over to Ronaldo Jr. Then stop, hold it up. Get it to Kamalo. Over to Matthew Rose. Try to get it to Paris. Paris back into Matthew. Matthew into Kamalo. And we can't even score that. Matthew cross in. That's gonna be Van Dyke. Goes absolutely nowhere. I think I am uh, throwing in the towel right now. That game ends 5-1. And that was absolutely pitiful. We may be in fourth place, but we're still so many steps below like some of the bigger teams. As we now fall down to seventh place. And now we face third place Liverpool. All we gotta do is try and wash that last game out of our memory. And just go again against Liverpool. Man, Jude Bellingham in a Liverpool kit. That is unfortunate for us. Now, if we get slapped again by uh, another like top four team in the prem i'm gonna start to get very nervous about our hopes this year even after signing matthew rose final gains over to dagba dagba needs to whip that in that is a great cross no one can get to it though like losing is one thing but losing that bad that's a whole other thing like we weren't even competitive with chelsea or man city all right andrich already a better start to this game great steal malo through ball to mr sean frost and you know what he's going all the way John Frost goes all the way. Rebound. Oh, man. He almost flipped that up to uh, Kamalo. Okay. I'm just going to take it out and he's actually fouled. Virgil van Dijk. I know you got some long shots. That's going to be blocked. And then Frost can't get the rebound. Whoa. We just kind of uh, did something, Allison. Leo, good steal. Leo Harrison. Left foot finesse shot. It's going to be right at Allison, though. Already a better start, I feel. But Andrich being injured makes me nervous. Frost finesse shot. Allison, another save. Corner swung in. Frost gets to it. Oh, it's right at Allison, though. Man, we just can't score from corners anymore. That is Van Dyke. He wasn't even close to that. Leo. Leo. We got to shoot this. Leo Harrison. It goes extremely wide. I believe Andrich has run off that injury, so we might be good. Okay, maybe not, though. Because Darwin Nunez is extremely extremely fast and we're down one nil yeah maybe our start of the season was just a fluke i don't even know we look like the same team as last year now and this game is one nil to liverpool this is indeed not good indeed van dyke against former team against your teammate darwin nunez former teammate goes all the way back out matthew rose just did the splits and then brantwaite blocks that shot okay they got a free kick basically it's like a little short corner which they're gonna play it right into mckinney back to mckinney over to someone it's going to be Oliveira and it's 2-0. Rolano is not saving anything right now. Like, do I need to put in Montoya? 25th minute, it is 2-0 to Liverpool. Follow space to Bino Giddens into Sean Frost. He got a lot to do there. Goes back, though. Bino Giddens cross to Sean Frost. Volley attempt. I put too much power on that. I didn't think he was going to go for a volley. I thought he was going to head it. Bro, Gakpo and Nunez, they're just so much faster on my defense. It's that simple. Whenever they get the ball, they're just like sprinting past Dagba, Van Dyke, Branthwaite, everyone. I don't know what their speed is now in five seasons in, but... It looks, it looks incredible. Dagba tackle, Van Dyke gets the clearance. Man, the whole entire team just is playing so bad right now. Malo to Sean Frost. Frost, I try to get it to Leo. We do get it to Leo, I think. We get a foul at least. Rose over to Frost, over to Leo Harrison. Good shot, Allison. Another save though. Bro, these keepers are not making all these saves. It is actually infuriating. Rose, header attempt. It's cleared off the line. We're, making, we're having good shots and good headers. They're just always, always save. Rose over to Kamalo. Kamalo. Tries to find a low driven shot. Not going to get that. Rose tries to shoot himself. And Allison makes another amazing save. What is happening right now? Halftime. And we're in a similar spot as last game. Leo can't feed in Frost there. Man, our attack just is struggling so much right now. It makes no sense. That is a ball into Darwin Nunez. And okay, I think Leno has just lost his starting spot. He is not saving anything now. We're down 3-0. This is, feels just like the Man City game. But now it's happening at home. Frost through to Leo. Leo. Can't even get it back to Frost. Wall out to Matthew Rose. We got to shoot this. We got no other option. Of course, it's blocked. Leo back into rose though rose takes a shot it's blocked again rose to bino gins you're ready to get it back to him can't we get in there okay that's gonna be a goal frost should score that no he doesn't because allison has made now i think five saves and all should be goals that isn't a bounce out it's gonna go to leo 
Leo, chance for a finesse shot. Of course, it is blocked. Andrich to win that. Do we do? Oh, man, I want to get that to whoever was uh, top of the box. Malo, good ball to Bino Gins. Bino Gins cuts inside. Gets it to Sean Frost. Tries to go for a shot. That was that should be deflected, right? You're telling me that's not... A, oh, that's on a corner. That was a missed shot. Okay, we're getting four subs on. Malo, Frost, Bino Gins, and Leo are all off. They played terrible this game. So, Matthew Rose to Cam. We got all new front three because I am searching for something right now. Christian Ali into Ronaldo. I think he's offside, though. He is going to be offside. Parsons through to Matthew Rose. He's got space for that shot. And okay, Matthew Rose has one. I didn't even think he'd score that. I thought Allison would save that. I don't know how he didn't. It's a good shot by Matthew, but still. It's like Allison made all these saves, but that one he doesn't make. I don't get it. It's 3-1 though. 3-1, we still got 20 minutes left. Is there a chance here for a comeback? Christian Ali to Matthew Rose into Ronaldo Jr. Oh man, I just need one more touch there. That could have been two quick goals for us. Okay, I, I have no clue what's happening, but Allison is up. Why is Allison up? I have no clue. Wait, you're telling me there's an open net? Wait, no. Someone's in goal. What am I seeing right now? Someone's in goal. They have switched places. What have I seen? Matthew Rose. You're telling me he saved that. Wait, wait. Now there's a keeper. What have I just seen? Allison was up and now they have a new keeper in. Wait, uh, what? Okay, Allison is now wearing like a normal kit, not a keeper kit. Bro, what is happening right now? I am so confused. Darwin Nunez is now the the keeper. And now Allison has a normal kit. And I, I think he's playing striker. I think I just swap positions. What have I seen right now? How do you even do that? There's no possible way that CPU would do that. I play a lot of FIFA, but I have never seen anything like that. Okay, Darwin Nunez is a goal. It should give us a chance to score, but there's already only eight minutes left. They're still going to score. Watch. Yep, they're going to score. It is 4-1. I don't know what's wrong with this episode, but Man City in this game have been terrible. Even my better players like Andrich, Matthew Rose, Kamalo, everyone's played just horrible. Christian Ali, chance to score against Darwin Nunez, and he puts the shot wide. That pretty much sums it up. Yeah, it's going to get worse because Yakpo, he's just faster than Branthwaite. I guess Branthwaite just didn't want to play anymore. He's done. 5-1. It's just like the Man City game. This is embarrassing for the club. After a great start, just not even competitive with these two teams. And Chelsea, same with these three teams, actually. So much for our improved defense. Okay, next team is Bournemouth. That's going to be a 1-1 draw. We still drop points against a team like Bournemouth. Our goal this season is top eight. Currently, we're in eighth place, so it's not all bad, but we need to correct this form right now. Otherwise, we're going to continue to just drop like crazy. And to make matters worse, Real Madrid have sent a bid for one of our best best players. Ronaldo says they've received the official bid. It's a bid of 72.5 million. And we say, okay, who's it for? And Ronaldo says it's for Sean Frost, that Real Madrid want him to be their new striker. And we say, okay, have you talked to Frost yet? Do we know how he feels about it? And Ronaldo says they haven't told him yet. We're still a month away from the transfer window. So for now to him, it's just rumors. And Ronaldo says we need him focused on this current month. So we're going to wait a few weeks to actually tell him about the official bid. There's a good chance we're losing Sean Frost. But right now we need him focused on this last month. This might be Sean Frost's last episode at Kensington. And our next game is against Watford. If we don't at least get a point here, if we don't win this, I mean, the panic meter is already high, but that would break the panic meter. All right, one late change, uh, Ronaldo Jr. in for Leo Harrison in that left wing spot. Come on, Watford, we better win this. Like, okay, we had a bad few games. It's nothing much. We can correct that form right now by winning this. This season is a very long season. One little slip up won't be that much and Sean Frost scores immediately. These might be his final few games at Kensington, but that's a great goal for us. It's just Real Madrid. He's 31 years old, probably his last chance for a big move. I don't think we can prevent it from happening. So for right now, we just focus on this game. It's 1-0. Hey, Andrich, all of a sudden playing much better here. That's a great steal. Out to Sean Frost. All right, Frost holds it up. We got Kamal down the middle. It's going to be a corner instead. Corner sent in. That's a great corner. Van Dijk was there for that. Goes to Kamalo volley attempt, and oh man, he just cleared it off the line. Okay, Ronaldo Jr. has so much space here. He's going to play it over to Bino Gittins. Get it back to Ronaldo. Into Bino Gittins shot. Okay, 2-0. Are we recapturing our form? Because right now, Andrich is still in the ball. Everyone looks much, much better. And look at that. Two shots, two goals. Against Liverpool, we had 20 shots, and we only scored one goal. That is that is insane. Two shots in this one, I think, and that's two goals. Follow Bino Gittins into Frost. Frost tries to bite a rose. That should be a foul right there. Frost, I need you to dive on that one. Yeah, we're actually still in the ball right now. That's the difference. Sean Frost. Goes for a power shot, and that goes. That just, uh, that might have hit a fan. We might have a lawsuit on our hands. Oh, Van Dyke, man, everyone is looking so much better in this game. What has changed? Is it just simply we're not playing a top six team? Are we just that scared? Tomalo, over to Bino Giddens. Okay, I wanted that to go to Matthew, not Frost. I'm talking this game is over. This game is not over. I need to be careful what I say and to not jinx things. Bino Giddens over to Dagba. Dagba needs a pass here. Finds Matthew Rose. Turns shoots and it's 3-0. Okay, it feels like we're finding that form again. Now, I think I saw that Matthew Rose is the top scorer of the Prem, which sounds insane, but I think he actually is. 33rd minute, 3-0. Okay, Bino Gittins into Kamala. We got Matthew Rose making that run. 
Matthew, good first touch. Second touch is also good. Lower driven shot. It's going to be saved. Ball sent in. Sean Frost in there. Okay, it's it's 4-0. And we've actually scored from a corner again. It's beautiful. 4-0. Honestly, I think this game's done. Even though it's like the 42nd minute, we have refound our form for at least this game. And this one's done. So in the end, it ends up as 5-1. That was a great win. We did that against Watford. Now can we do it against Arsenal? Which they're in fifth place. We're three points behind them. And we're still only five points away from uh, Liverpool in third. So if we can recapture this form, we can actually climb the table even more. I think Ronaldo Jr. starts again. I think Montoya in for uh, Leno this game. Because Leno has not saved much recently. And we face a decent looking Arsenal squad. Come on. I want to bring that momentum into this game. If we could beat a big team in the Prem, it would give us so much confidence. But these are the games in which we've struggled in. Ronaldo Jr. into Frost. Frost to Ronaldo Jr. Matthew, I don't know why you stopped your run. Ronaldo Jr. into Kamalo though. Kamalo. Okay, I want to play a straight pass to Frost. Not a back hill. Now we are facing Saka, a former owner of the club, which... Uh, Okay, Matthew and Ensac has sold their ownership, but it's already 1-0. That feels like the same goal we considered against Man City, Liverpool, and now Arsenal. It's just like, we don't even mark against these bigger teams. The players just don't mark players. 1-0 in the sixth minute, this is, and that's not a good sign. It's absolutely not. Ronaldo Jr. trying to tie this game up, Rose. Rose, great turn by Matthew Rose. Great shot. Ramsdale, great save though. Man, that looked good. Corner sent in. That's going to go to Ronaldo Jr. Great header attempt, but another good save. This can't be like Allison again. That's a great corner, but Ramsdale comes out for that one this time. Man, Arsenal is playing like Man City Liverpool. You can tell. They're just moving that much quicker. It's honestly not looking good for us. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Odegaard scores. It's 2-0. What is wrong with us against these big teams? We just like not even competitive at all. Bro, the back heel Odegaard and then just, of course, no one's there. Matthew and Andrich are standing there watching. Bro, we are just, uh, we're mid-table merchants, I think. Mid-table merchants. Man, if they score three, I'm about to be so mad. If they score three, I am about... I'm not even, I can't even be mad about that. What a shot. It is 3-0. These three games have gone the same exact way. You can just tell by the way they're moving. Like, they're just, they're out to win. It's like I'm playing a different game right now. This didn't even happen last year. That's why it's weird. Like, our team is better this year. We play worse against the better teams. It makes no sense. Okay, Rose just uh, tackled Saka right there. That is a friendly tackle. And Ronaldo Jr. plays probably the worst pass I've seen so far today. Bino Gittins over to Kamalo. Kamalo, cut inside. Shoot that. And okay. 3-1. Great goal by Kamalo. We're back in this game at least a little bit. Boys, we got to show some fight. We can't just lay down against these big teams. If we can't beat teams like this, we'll always be a small club. I don't want to be Tottenham 2.0. I know Gittins to Kamalo. We got Frost. Oh, why did he stop running? I'm not sure why. Frost. That's inside though. Over to Ketso Kamalo. Oh, that extra touch ruined it. Wanted to set it up on his left foot. It just ruined the shot though. Okay, Balogun has so much space. And he scores, and that's the game. We have a chance to make it 3-2 instead of make it 4-1. They've scored, like, every single shot. And now it's Montoya in goal. I guess our keeper, our both keepers can't save anything. Bro, we're, like, four minutes over at a time. Why are they allowing that attack to happen? I'm not sure. But 4-1, if we don't make this 4-2 soon, I think this there's no hope for us. I mean, if we talk about perspective, like, last year we almost got relegated. So, for us to be in the top eight still, no matter what happens, we're still in a great spot this year. It's just these games... Us being just not even competitive, it's so frustrating. I feel like last year we actually played better. I don't know why. These three games, they have been... Probably some of the worst of this entire series, actually. And I have no clue why. All right, Matthew Rose, free kick chance. It is from uh, pretty far out, though. See what the boy can do. That one was on target. It needed more power, though. And I mean, Man City, much better team than us. Uh, Chelsea, much better team. Liverpool, probably better team. This Arsenal squad, though, they don't even look like that much better of a team than us. Other than, like, Saka and Odegaard. Andrich could steal. Could we just find something in this game to celebrate? Bino Giddens, cross over to Rose. Goes to Ronaldo Jr. instead. Ronaldo Jr., great header. But Ramsdale, he's just making a great save right now. Like, when keepers are making great saves, it just adds to the frustration. But Branthwaite, good goal. Okay, we still got time. 4-2, we still got time here. Branthwaite, grab the ball. 4-2, 25 minutes left. There's still a chance here. We gotta score this third quick, though. Jota trying to make it. Trying to steal this game. Branthwaite, good tackle, though. And now we got space because they were attacking very uh, aggressively. We got a cross far post. Bino Giddens, oh, man, it's, it's not the best. Ronaldo Jr., the header was, like, not the best either, though. In to Frost. Frost over to Kamalo. Kamalo, chance to score. Of course, they blocked that, though. Andrich, that's a very decent corner. Is it a go to Bino Giddens? I think that was blocked. Wait, that was a miss by Bino Giddens? How do you miss that badly? Okay, Sean Frost, great steal. He is in the box, needs something. I try to play it back to Rose. I mean, Sean Frost is trying. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I was about to say, if he's on side there, I'm turning off the game. Rose over Bino Giddens. Kamalo's making that run. Giddens into Andrich, over to Sean. Sean drags it back. I want to go back to Andrich, not all the way to Kamalo. Kamalo through to Matthew Rose. We have a chance to make it 4-3. Matthew takes his time. 
and Ramsdale makes the save. Did I have sweat that? I didn't even see. I was so I was so trusting of Matthew there. Four minutes left though. I'm not sure it would have mattered that much. That's gonna be cleared. Yeah, even if we scored that, there's just not enough time to get back in the game. At least we fought back. They're gonna actually get their fifth like that. Oh man, Chelsea. Man City, Liverpool Arsenal. At least this game we showed the most fight, but still, we just got slapped. That is five of the big top six we stood like no chance against. So despite that, we gotta remember, we're still only what? Seven points away from fourth, or actually six points. So we still have had a great start to the year. It's just the big teams right now, we, we literally stood no chance. Our five losses this year all come against like the top six. Other than that, it's still been an amazing season so far. Now transfer window in the next episode. And it's about time we have a talk with uh, look good old Sean Frost. Now Sean Frost says that Ronaldo has told him about Real Madrid's bid for him. And we ask him, how do you feel about that? And Sean Frost says it might be his only chance of moving to a big club like Real Madrid. But on the other hand, he also loves this club so much. So he's not sure what he should do. We tell him there's a few weeks left of the window. Take some more time to think about this. And then once January hits, tell us your decision. So we're going to find out if Sean Frost leaves the club in the next episode. But if you enjoyed, drop a like, hit that sub button down below. Um, on screen is a video that you might like. And as always, hope you have a great day.